Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this audio slide presentation. My name is Ayub Sharifi and I would like to provide you with an overview of our recent paper titled Can Master Planning Control and Regulate Urban Growth in Vientiane Laos? Despite the fact that Laos has the fifth highest urban growth rate in the world, the present understanding of urbanization in the country is limited. As a preliminary step to fill this gap, we have conducted a survey on urbanization and striving forces in Vientiane. In 2010, a master plan to guide urban growth was prepared by JICA. The primary objective of this study was to examine whether master planning can be used as a management tool to control urban growth in Vientiane. Other objectives were to detect land use and land cover changes, and also to provide better insight into the driving forces of urbanization. We used the mixed methods approach to address the research objectives. The results of the population change analysis were fed into the land use change analysis to determine changes in the population density in the study area. These two analyses provided background information needed to address the central research question of whether master planning can regulate urban growth. To understand the potential reasons for major violations of the master plan and also to find some explanations for the low density urban development and rapid loss of natural resources, the last analysis included interviews with some of the authorities involved in the planning and management of urban development in Vientiane and a number of residents affected by development plans. These figures illustrate the patterns of urban expansion in Vientiane. It is apparent that until 1995, the built up area concentrated mainly around the core urban area. Between 1995 and 2005, the existing urban areas became denser. It can be seen that the urban area has started to expand outside the core urban area and it sprawl outward into the surrounding farmlands and forests. Another clearly visible change is the increase in development along the major transport corridors. Overall, the total built-up area increased from 4.30% of the study area in 1995 to 5.77% in 2011. We observe from these figures that, over time, the area covered by forests has decreased. Generally, deforestation in Vientiane can be characterized as taking place in two phases. First, forests are replaced by farmlands and pastures. Later, some of these areas are replaced by built-up areas. To examine viability of using master planning, we overlap the corresponding part of the classified image of 2011 and the master plan. This way, we identify the major discrepancies between the land use proposed in the master plan and the actual land use. The major contradictions are as follows. Conversion of agricultural land to built-up area, change from forest or nature conservation zone to built-up area, and transformation of forest or nature preservation area into agricultural land. These figures illustrate the special distribution of these major contradictions, indicating that the actual land use significantly deviates from what is proposed in the master plan. These are the main results of the interviews. Amount of land conversion was high. No practice of regular patrolling exists in Vientiane. There was no strict enforcement of regulations. Participation of the city officials in the top-level decision-making process is limited. There is a cultural tendency toward living in detached houses that can be a reason for low density in the city. Conflicts of responsibilities exist between the different departments which are in charge of urban management in the city. People are not aware of the non-compliance with the zoning codes and purchasing and selling land had become a lucrative business and speculative practices exist in the city. In conclusion, it was found that urban growth has evolved into a sprawl pattern. The rapid urbanization has resulted in the loss of many invaluable natural resources. Among others, the fragmented governance and the lack of integrated land management could be the main reasons for this uncontrolled urban growth. We found that master planning has failed to control urban growth. This was explained by institutional factors such as the lack of a legal basis for implementation, the rigidity of the zoning system, the exclusion of local authorities in top-level decision-making, and the non-participatory planning process. Experiences of other countries indicate that reorienting the master planning towards strategic special planning would be a helpful strategy for better management of urban growth. Thank you very much for your attention, and if you are interested, please also read the related work shown on the screen.